Welcome back into Great Day Washington. We all love a clean home, but those cleaning supplies, they can be dangerous for small children who may think they are something sweet to eat or drink. So here with some safety tips for us is Brian Sansoni from the American Cleaning Institute. Mm -hmm. So good to have you. Good morning. Thank you for having us. They're so bright and colorful yeah. and beautiful. Um, so I could see why kids might be drawn to things like these. What household items do we need to really pay attention to? 74% of Americans plan to spring clean this year, according to American Cleaning Institute survey. So we're going to be cleaning more yeah. in these days and weeks to come. We would do a lot of laundry. So what we need to do is take a few extra seconds for safety. So whether we're doing the laundry, uh, we're, we're using our window cleaner or, or dish cleaners, use them properly, but don't leave them out where the little ones mm -hmm. can get to them. So it's really important to keep them uh, in child-resistant containers, particularly with um, uh, liquid laundry packets. Uh, you want to just be safe because uh, there's too many uh, occurrences that are out there. Mm -hmm. So we want to try to prevent those from happening in the first place. What are some of the areas in our home we're not even thinking about that are overlooked when it comes right. to safety precautions? You know what we often don't think about? is the laundry room because so many uh, households have put a lot of money into remodeling and reorganizing their laundry rooms and it's mm -hmm. they want them to look great but a really disappointing trend that we've seen on social media in the last few years is people will empty uh, the, the original container say of laundry packets and put them in jars and put photos of them on Instagram and Pinterest. Oh. And it, that's really unsafe, particularly yeah. if, you, if there are uh, young children uh, in the house or others who shouldn't get a hold of this. So, you know, our yeah. message is store, not to car. Uh, it's a bad idea. So you keep them in the yeah. child resistant containers. Make sure you're not leaving the laundry packets sitting on top of the uh, washing machine because right. mm -hmm. we can get it's so easy to get distracted. Yeah. Phone calls. Uh, we have kids running around. It's very easy for uh, a child to grab something. It only takes a second. So yeah. we need to do the laundry safely as directed and keep the whole household safe. Wow. Are those bags, are these kid friendly? Because I know these are, but like the, sometimes yeah, this, we get those. They, they are too. And, okay. and, and you can, it's also meant to be a child resistant, harder to, to pull apart. Mm -hmm. So the important thing though is to also make sure after you're done doing your laundry, don't leave the, the, the packet sit out put it in the washing machine as directed and then put it yeah. put it back put it up, up high. You know, put it up high yeah. so yeah. they they can't reach it Wh whatever the product is be it a detergent a cleaning product uh, a, a dish cleaner window cleaner we don't look through uh, our households often within the eyes of a child right. we're up here right. it's a whole new world down there it is. well and I try and think too like we, I've grown kids but under our sink is all of our cleaning all stuff. And now mm -hmm. the more organic, uh, natural ones come in clear bottles, but yeah. they're a bright pink color or a bright uh, yellow color. Yeah, so pretty. I can see how those would be attractive too. A absolutely, no matter what type of product it is or how green it claims to be, it shouldn't be ingested uh, and it shouldn't be accessed yeah. by a child. So if you have products under the sink, make sure you have those child safety locks that we're all yeah. used to. We, we have do. those. Yeah, we do. That's really important. <laughs> it's just, we all want clean homes and that's great. It's good for our health, but we want to do it safely to protect our households, protect our kids. If the worst happens, they see this, they think it's a candy jar, they eat one of these pods, what, what should we do? Mm -hmm. Well, the most important off? number to have in your cell phone is a poison control center number, 1-800-222-1222. Mm -hmm. Have it on your cell phones, have it posted in the laundry room or the kitchen. They're, they're, they're wonderful experts there. They can really help you in case of an unfortunate incident. They're yeah. super knowledgeable people. They're there uh, 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 365 yeah. days a year. Can okay. you give us that number one more time? Sure. 1-800-222-1222. Okay. In case you need it, hopefully you won't have to. Yeah. These incidents are very preventable, but it's a good yeah. number to have on hand. Yeah. Okay. One more time when I go over there and grab my phone. <laughs> and also Ryan, for thank more you. safety <laughs> tips, yes, you can head to cleaninginstitute.org. Great tips there.